think about the talent, the vision, the leadership that exists in this room right now. As David said earlier, it is, it is really spectacular. I think Now, to present the Award for Excellence in Policy, please welcome Maria Brown, Superintendent of NOAA's Gulf of the Fairlands National Green Center. personal heroes. Um, I'm very lucky to be here today to do this. Um, she has made a significant long-term contribution to public policy to help restore oceans. Um, Dr. Jane Lachenko is being honored for her role today for her recent efforts to establish a national ocean policy which we deeply need in this country. She is also being recognized for her long-term championing of the, of the importance of marine science and policy. And this is really important because many times scientists do not get involved in the policy part of decision making. And we need scientists. We need their information. We need their guidance. We need their recommendations. Dr. Luchenko has provided scientific input to multiple U.S. administrations, actually the last three administrations, and Congress on climate, fisheries, biodiversity, and marine ecosystems. And there's a, there's a fact you may not know, but I find it very interesting, is that Dr. Luchenko is the most quoted ecologist in the world. It is with great pleasure that I present this award to my hero and my leader, Dr. Jane Luchenko. But you've also been wonderful role models in putting family first. And I, that's a value that I particularly appreciate. And I am delighted that my son Duncan Mankey is able to be with us here tonight. Duncan, thank you for being such a wonderful son. <laughs> David, thank you for all of your leadership. I really appreciate what you've done to grow more ocean champions. And this room is a really uh, wonderful indication of the potential that we have yet to deliver on. We have come here tonight to celebrate our love of oceans and to recognize their importance in our lives. But we do so at a time when there is a major environmental disaster and human tragedy playing out underway right now in the Gulf of Mexico. Today, possibly more than any other time in history, we are beginning to appreciate the extent to which healthy oceans matter. They matter to the animals that call the oceans home. They matter to our personal happiness. They matter to the prosperity of our coastal communities and states, and they matter to the health and well-being of people everywhere. The BP oil spill began as our nation was celebrating the 40th anniversary of Earth Day. 
And as we know, Earth Day was part of the legacy of the Santa Barbara blowout of 1969 and the environmental movement that led to the Clean Air Act, the Clean Water Act, the Environmental Protection Agency, the Coastal Zone Management Act, the National Marine Sanctuaries Act, and my organization, NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. With that thought in mind, how will we collectively respond to the tragedy that is underway now? How will we come together? How will we honor the oceans that all of us who are here tonight care about so deeply? Forty years from now, what will be our legacy? That is our challenge, and I issue that challenge to each of you tonight. So we come together at a transformative moment for oceans. And as we contemplate what is happening in the Gulf and bring our collective efforts together to respond to this disaster, I ask you to take your glasses in your hand and raise them. I have a glass in my hand, can you see it? And I want to offer a toast to the Gulf of Mexico, to our oceans, and to the simple concept that healthy oceans matter. Thank you.